for Absolutely me. not. I have to remind people, this community did not get into the shape that it's in overnight. Um, we aren't going to recover overnight, but given the limited amount of time the CRA has been in existence, you know, I'm really proud of some of the accomplishments we've we had. One of our first projects was we, we entered into a partnership with the Housing Authority. The Housing Authority went out and secured a $72 million HOPE 6 grant and um, took out the worst housing um, development in the city. They turned it into a mixed-use development, uh, not a mixed-use, excuse me, a uh, mixed-income development, a 50% subsidized, 50% market rate. At the time, the naysayers said, there's no way 50% market rate is going to work. Well, I'm here to say you got a, a waiting list on the market rate side. Um, we're talking about five years into that. The naysayers who suggested that the development would look like it did 20 years ago, I'm proud to say that it's in fantastic shape now. Um, that particular project has been um, hailed by HUD as um, one that the national, uh, that deserves national attention. That was one of our first projects. We were able to take a historically neglected community center that services thousands of kids a year, that um, has operated on a small parcel of land next to the railroad track, um, no amenities. We were able to make them the centerpiece of this project. Now, if we were talking about a 20-acre park project that was passive, I would stand in line and say that does not make sense. But when you drop a community center that services thousands of at-risk youth and surround them with all of the amenities necessary for them to, you know, feel safe and, and be exposed to positive influences and incorporate some adult programming into that, um, I am very proud to be associated with a project like that.